All right, and we're back. So, as you can see, the water has turned a little bit bluish, kind of purplish color. I don't know what to call it. Gray, maybe? I call it a nice purple tone. Kind of gray, purple, blue, that kind of arena in the hue factor. Looks like there's a little yellow on the bottom. Maybe that might be reflected from the surface or something. Who knows? So we have a little bit of a blue-purple problem in our water supply. Other than that, it looks pretty okay-ish. So we can tell something definitely came off the coins and the metals and stuff into our water just by osmosis with no heat um, factor uh, affecting it. So now we're going to heat up our sample and we're going to simulate the tank effect of the water heater. But we're going to do it from the bottom instead because that's all we have to work with right now, basically. So we've got the salt, we've got the metals, we're going to remove the metals if I can find my, oh there it is, uh, tongs. So there you can see the salt moving around in there. That's the coin. <laughs> I was gonna say. Well, the salt looks like it kind of did something weird. Oh, that's my coin. If I can get it out. Ah. Ah. I want this to be safe, anyways. Just to note, when I put the silver into our, um, whatchamacallit, the, our water tank, or our, not our water tank, but our, um, whatchamacallit, I can't think of the word, oh, uh, water softener thing, tank, um, our skin kind of turned a little reddish. <laughs> I don't know if that's circulation wise or what, but I don't know, it's just a little weird. <clears throat> our April air is hooked up to our soft water or our cold water. I don't know which one, to be honest. So that's just something to keep in mind. Though I don't know how silver could turn your skin red. Um, that's to be determined. Um, I don't know what the chemistry is behind that. So I don't know if that would be the causative factor of that. I did bless the tank. I'm an ordained priest. So it might be um, a factor of radiation of some type occurring. Maybe the heating of the silver or something like that. So, um, so yeah, that's just a thing to keep in mind there. So, um, so there might be something wacky going on with that. So I'll remove this from Stony Labs. They're a good company. I highly recommend them. Um, so yeah, so we're going to cover our sample here. Now, our water heater only goes up to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's Fahrenheit anyways. So um, we'll only turn this up about halfway. Let's keep it a little under boiling. To our warm setting is like one and a half so yeah and we'll see what happens excuse me I do not know what happened to my digital thermometer my infrared thermometer I don't know where that is that would be incredibly useful right now. I don't want my hands moving. So let's stabilize that a little bit better. Oh, 
Oh, I bet you probably still need that for color comparisons. Oh, no, that's a fire hazard. Don't want to do that. <laughs> yep, there's a reason I moved that. <clears throat> And to simulate the soft water the best, you really should remove all this salt and do that that way. Oops. Because it doesn't have that much salt in it. Isn't that salty? Because really the salt factor gets removed from it. Once it leaves the softener tank, I want this to be as accurate as possible. Perfect. Now let's see what happens to this water. So pretty cold. So the water here needs to be cranked up a bit. There we go. Heating element going to warm up this water. Still pretty cool. Now it's taking on a sort of a uh, golden cast. It's actually quite yellowish. I don't know if you can take a look at it from the side here. It looks kind of yellowy. If you can focus it. There we go. You can see the kind of yellow cast it has. Against everything else. Let's 
still pretty cold. Now the side is hot. Drink it all the way up. I don't know if that's the salt or what it is. If it's metal. Bottom. No treasures to be found, fortunately. There you go. It's starting to warm up. Let me turn it down a little bit. There you have it, our hot water. This is what our hot water looks like. It's cold enough on the top I can stick my hand in it, but... I don't know. It's obviously not heating up very fast. It's pretty hot on the bottom though. If I touch the side of the glass here, it's got a nice golden y kind of. Unless it's like colloidal silver or something. I don't know what it is exactly. It'd be fun to send it into a lab and have it analyzed. If anyone's watching this out there and they have access to like a university lab or something, or they work at a private lab where you'd actually be able to analyze this stuff, I'd, I would be so ever grateful if you could reproduce this experiment and actually show me what's going on with this metals, with these metals. Actually, what is being created and what is being occurring and actually what's in this solution. It would be pretty cool to know that type of information. Because I obviously, all I have are acid tests, so I can only test solid metals. Like little scratches and stuff on a scratch plate. I can't really test liquid metals at all to know what's, what's what in there. So, um... So yeah, I would be so ever grateful if anyone with like a mass spectrometer or something like that, or like a one of those uh, devices, um, not a mass spectrometer, or I don't know if that's the right word or not, but um, one of those uh, spectroscopy devices could analyze um, analyze the fluid and find out what's the solution and find out what types of metals are in there after this process is complete. Um, so yeah, so um, with concluding with those thoughts, um, so this is the, so we're assuming there are some minerals in here related to um, the um, osmosis of silver metals, copper metals, ions, what have you, into solutions, 
and possibly even gold or even beyond that. We're speaking alchemy terms here into solution. Thus going off from the water heater into your, which is always heating and boiling and frothing, um, into your plumbing system. And I know that it is doing something because the energy is phenomenal in our house right now. It is like radiation, radiant, like God came in and cast out all the money, or Jesus came in and cast out all the money changers or whatever. <laughs> something like that or like our house was blessed or something like that so by our shaman or priest or something so um so yeah just the silver coin alone i'll do wonders um i don't know if the copper is necessarily good for the water or the water tank because you can get copper ions in the air and stuff so um, the gold coin, I don't know if that's even doing anything or not. It would be a fun experiment to find out if it is. I just did all three at once just to show you what I'm doing here at my house. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to show and share today. Um, I could, uh, here, why don't we do a comparison with the tap water. So here, I'm going to pause and go see some tap go um pick out some tap water i just have to get a jar or something and i can put it in okay i'll pause right now and it will magically be somewhere else okay so we're in the kitchen and these are the waters on the right you see our experimental water and on the left, you see our tap water. So now I'm going to zoom out a little. There. Um, you can... Uh, I'll zoom back in. Zoom out like that. So you can kind of see... Um, our tap water is a little more bluish. And the hot water. And our experimental water is a little more yellowish. I think that has more salt in it. Um, yeah. So there's that. Thanks for watching. This is Michael Ellis, also known as Elias the Artist. Thanks for watching.